I spared no restraint during the journey that led me to the acquisition of this fidget spinner. Every fiber of my body and feeble spirit urged my reconsideration, but I was tormented by the views I wasn't getting, tormented by my purposeful forfeiture to chance to find my spot among YouTube's recommended, tormented by the simplistic and virus-like nature of this spinning cancer that had seemingly put the world in a headlock and showed no signs of loosening its stranglehold. Upon seeing one in the flesh for the first time, a wave of euphoria swept over me as if my physical body was present, but my spirit had left the earth for another universe altogether. The undeniable healing powers became tangible when my spinner soared between my fingers on its first flight and cast out all doubts I had left about the miracle of this $5 autism toy. So I'm only an hour one of fidget spinning, but I can already kind of feel that holistic life healing effect that these are bringing on so many uh, people worldwide that are plagued with these terrible diseases. It's really just incredible how the weight of this metal triangle spinning in my hand has, I can feel the toxins just leaving uh, out of my asshole as we speak. Shit spinning. A secret guarded by autists for centuries was now mine to practice at will. Yeah, flush those toxins. It wasn't long before I discovered the power of potassium spinning, an ancient Mayan ritual commonly practiced by the hunters of the tribe to help prevent muscle cramps and keep balanced glucose levels in the bloodstream. I employed hot coffee spinning during the winter freeze, and as the snow melted and the summer sunshine returned, I tried my hand at iced coffee spinning to stay alert for unprecedented meme awareness. I began green spinning, damaged hair repair spinning, reflection spinning, and even spent two months bowl spinning as I felt my skill set manifesting unbridled power that could no longer be ignored. It wasn't long before Nigel noticed the dramatic impact this fidget spinner had introduced into my life. I would regularly catch him head spinning on the back porch when he thought I was indisposed, but I saw him. I knew what he was up to. After months of meditation, he became a balance and knife spinning Grandmaster Level 6 and could now control other monkeys' thoughts at will with his own mind. And while this rapid progress was impressive, it wasn't until I caught him pepperoni spinning that I really started to become concerned, for it was this very ritual that had seen the fall of the Roman Empire merely 15 centuries ago. But it didn't stop there. Before I could intervene, he had already began to master clutch spinning and Benjamin on the dash spinning, two techniques written about in ancient Peruvian texts detailing the end of days of mankind. Fortunately, I was well versed in grocery spinning and was able to stop Nigel's delusions of destruction before it was too late, before the world would stop fidget spinning forever. I'm going to stop this story right there and just leave you with a little blank screen as I spin my fidget spinner next to the mic. I want you to listen to that. You hear that? Oh, that's some fidget spinner ASMR right there. Oh, thank you so much for listening and wasting four minutes of your life. This really has been a treat for me, and I, <laughs> I hope it hasn't been a treat for you. I really do, because it shouldn't have been. Subscribe.